Anna, and our good idea for learning through play today is all about bath time. Of course, children should always be supervised when they're in or near the water, so why not take advantage of that time to learn and explore together with some bubble play? Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple bubble toy from simple things that you probably already have around the house. But first, why? Why is bubble play important? Well, older toddlers are so busy exploring their environment and they love to see the effects of what they're doing. I'm sure you're aware of this when you watch them pushing buttons and flipping switches and filling and pouring and emptying and taking things apart. The bubbles are a great way to see the effects of what they're doing right away. How exciting to watch your bubble grow bigger as you blow it and how much fun it is to pop it. While your children are actively involved in bubble play, you can use that time to enhance their language and thinking skills by talking to them. Um, and as you talk to them about their bubbles, you're teaching them to understand where the bubbles are and what they're doing. So say things like, is your bubble floating up or falling down? Oh, look at that enormous bubble. I wonder if it's going to pop soon. Oh, there's a bubble right next to your ear. Do you see a bubble above my head? Can you pop three little bubbles? This is a great way to teach your child about things like fast and slow and up and down and front and behind and beside or little or medium or great big. Bubble play also offers lots of opportunities for learning to follow directions. A young two-year-old, closer to 24 months, should be able to follow one simple direction like pop that bubble, pop. But a child that is closer to three years old should be able to follow a set of two or more instructions like, can you pop one bubble by poking it and one bubble by clapping it and one bubble by squeezing it? Or if there are siblings in the tub, they can learn to follow, follow directions and take turns. First you pop one and then sister pops the next one. So in order to make that bubble toy I talked about earlier, you'll need a, a plastic bottle with the large end cut out. You'll need a child sock and you'll need something, a rubber band. You simply slide that sock over the large, the end of the bottle that you've already cut off and secure it in place with your rubber band. Then all you need is a little soap and water. And then you can let that bubble blowing fun begin. They'll never know how much they're learning, but you will. Be sure to come back next time for another good idea.